something wrong with the、uh, environment. And so we actually inspire with uh, uh, the landscape and uh, with uh, uh, issues. Originally,、um, I was working、uh, more in cultural studies, and、um, I started、uh, working with Ken around the time that he was in the Venice Biennale.、Um, I used to hassle him to get a proper job, and then <laughs> eventually I thought, well, if you can't be them, better well, might as well join them. When、uh, Julia and I were living in Okinawa, Japan,、uh, many many coral were、uh, bleached and killed, and sugar industry also causing、uh, coral bleaching. I made a、uh, bleached、uh, coral out of、uh, icing sugar, and that also included、uh, environmental message. We had this amazing opportunity to go to Mildura and see hands-on the effect of the drought and salinity and the effects that it had around the river system. We got a、uh, artist in residency、uh, in Mildura for three months, working with a local scientist. And Sunrise 21,、uh, they actually doing mapping, and、uh, they got heaps of information about salinity area and、uh, the salinity rates. You know, we were a bit like probably 95 or even more percent of the Australian population, which is we heard snippets about it on TV,、um, but had never seen,、um, you know, firsthand the impacts. Yeah, the Maori Dairy Basin、uh, had、uh, 90 percent of、uh, Australian fresh food、uh, produced in that area. So yeah, everyday life, so we actually consuming, eating.、Uh, Food from there. Also,、uh, we producing a heaps of salt as well. Darling Freshwater Research Centre is an ecological research centre that exists to generate and communicate knowledge about the、um, freshwater ecosystems within the Murray Darling Basin. The Murray Darling Basin is referred to as Australia's food bowl. It's a it's a source for a lot of the、uh, the food agriculturally supplied food for a lot of Australia and for export. Environmentally, there are big risks with the way we currently use the Murray Darling system. I guess our role as researchers is to better understand the impacts of higher salt levels on on Australian aquatic ecosystems, particularly in the basin. It's a fairly fragile river system. It's very ancient and it's not particularly nutrient rich. So,、uh, if we're going to preserve it for both environmental values and for food production, then we need to to know as much as we can about the system and how it's responding.、Um, Just to natural variation in in weather conditions or flow conditions, but also variations that result due to our impacts as people.、Um, I'd like to、uh, ask you all to charge your glasses and please do come inside and see the exquisite work in here by Ken and Julia Yonatani. In the dining room, and also Helen Vivian was a curator who contacted Ken and Julia to see if they'd be interested in taking part in the Synapse residency. So Ken and Julia had a history of、uh, being involved in environmentally themed art projects, and Helen joined the dots and、um, invited them to come to Mildura. When they first arrived. It was an open book, but talking with researchers, getting to know the landscape,、um, observing some of the、uh, issues caused by salinisation of waterways and, and land, I think,、um, helped to shape the direction that they took with their project. We discussed、uh, what they were trying to achieve, 
And uh, in the early days, that was sort of the con concept of you know, trying to, you know, mould images, uh, sculpture out of out of salt. The fact that hundreds of thousands of tonnes of salt are pumped out from um, the groundwater to stop it from seeping into the river system. And just to see the actual salt was, was really incredible. So it, um, it made us really want to work with salt, even though it was an extremely tiresome and difficult process. <laughs> started thinking, okay, we'll, we'll um, use some, you know, pieces of fruit that, that are produced in Mildura and we can make them out of, out of salt. So then we used this idea of the, the food bowl. We never uh, done before. It's the uh, first time to using salt. Uh, so we actually had to have a lot of research to make it a uh, sculpture. There's two, two uh, factors uh, related to salt that make it really difficult to work with. The first is that it doesn't bind with hardly anything and also it's incredibly soluble with, the, with water. <laughs> so it took about three months just to work out how to make something out of salt. By the time we'd left Mildura, we only had a couple of really sad pieces of fruit um, to show for the work and then we actually had to make most of the work once we uh, got back to our studio. Very hard job. Yeah, the crazy job. Yeah, we, we like that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> extraordinary piece of work. It's got a, a sort of an awesome beauty about it, but it's also telling, um, telling a story about the vision of, of people when they came here. They wanted to turn this desert environment into a food bowl for Australia. The work is actually located in the dining room of the house that was built by the Chafee brothers who brought irrigation to this community. So it's extremely well sited. It just relates to that house and, and dining and food. So many connections. And again, everybody's sleeping. I think it's really important that the work is grounded in a locality, but it's also a global issue. So we're showing the work in, in London and uh, obviously people in England don't really understand about you know, the Murray Darling, they've probably never even heard of it. But the issue of salinity is something that humans have been struggling with, um, you know, ever since civilization began. It is a way that this um, environmental story can be told to a really big audience. Something that we in the science community struggle to achieve, I guess. By mixing the art with the science, you actually get uh, a totally different way of informing the community on issues that are relevant to them. Appreciating uh, different interpretations of change in the landscape is quite quite powerful. So you know, I'm more than happy to be involved. It was it was a fantastic experience, really. Uh, the human people is uh, just uh, living everyday life. It's good to confront uh, the reality. Yeah, we just are uh, showing uh, the reality uh, with our art.